Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duo Sarm here today, back with another Black Desert video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the most recent patch of the Kingdom of Black Desert on March 8th of 2023, going over all the events as well as major changes with the patch, that way you don't miss a thing. This week's patch brings a few new events as well as a continuation of a ton of them, as well as a couple little tweaks to the game, so yeah, quickly before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, new to Black Desert, or you've been watching the videos on the channel and still have not subscribed yet, please consider it, helps to grow my channel, you stay up to date with new content, and we both win and... Without further ado, let's get into it and start off with the events like we do every single week. Now this week's patch only brings two new events, the first one being Marcella's Call for Help. When you are out grinding or if you are out doing gathering, so uh, these two different activities, you're going to get these items, Event Unpolished Crystals. These can be exchanged with the NPC Marcella, located in Valia, for various items, once per family, five times per week, and then no restriction on the memory fragments. If you don't know where she is, map here, City of Valia, one of the first cities you come to in the game, We'll get it right up here, Marcella the Jeweler. Now the second event is a horse event, and we have these every once in a while. But basically, whenever you do your Imperial deliveries, you're going to get Imperial training invoices. Depending on the tier that you turn in, you will get different amounts of these invoices. You can then trade those invoices into the NPC Gula in Stotail Horse Ranch. And for those of you that don't know where that is, it's map right here. Stonetail Horse Ranch located just above the city of Tariff. So you got the city of Tariff, Stonetail Horse Ranch right here. NPC Gula, located right there. So all these different items can be exchanged for those invoices. Additionally, when you do Imperial Deliveries, you're gonna get double the amount of Flowers of Oblivion. Then, for catching a horse once per week, you're gonna get Royal Fern Roots times 30, as well as a quest that you can use to get some Mythical Feathers. And we have Mount DXP buffed here for the uh, next week, two weeks here through March 22nd. So, little horse training, taming, catching, all sorts of different things related event here for you. Now that's it for new events. There's just also one more notification that we have Daylight Savings time starting here, so the times for various activities are gonna change. Keep that in mind when you go out for boss fights and turn-ins and whatnot. Now, there are a bunch of other events that are still going on. So there is the every single day uh, enter the contest here at the NPC Lara and Heidel. So uh, make sure you're accepting those daily coupons and turning them into Lara for your chance to win a bunch of items over here in Heidel. Covered it in the video last week. So if you need a refresher, check that out. Also, we have the 7x EXP across the board. So 7 combat EXP and then 70% life, 7 skill, and 7% drop rate. So nice little bonuses there. There's a quest that you can do with Lara to get a bunch of Cron Stones. Make sure to do that one. It's this quest line right here. Also covered that a couple weeks ago. Check it out. Garmoth additional spawns we have. Special Vendor Verdi has reset, so make sure to check her out and buy your items from her. She was a weekly quest one. We talked about that last week. Make sure to do those ones. And while you're out playing, once again, you're going to get the Seals of Wanderlust, which can be exchanged for a ton of really cool items. So yeah, like the biggest one, this Life Transfer Coupon, make sure to get that, even if you don't life skill, because this never happens. Never seen one of those before in an event. So yeah, uh, check all those things out. Now moving on to the patch notes themselves, there's not a ton of stuff to cover in this one. First of all, the AFK fishing zones have been expanded or added for your Colacanth Spring fishing season thing on your season servers, so you can fish in other locations in other cities. Next up, we have the Morning of Light, Land of Morning Light here, that is uh, being added into the game. So yeah, the map has changed in Black Desert, or will be changing out here at Port Rat, so way out in the distance, this region's going to be changing. You'll no longer have access to it. You can't get any further out there while we wait for the update to go live. Now, if you're impatient and you want to check out some cool stuff, Bediolytics has a map tool. And if you go to the map tool on Bediolytics and scroll out to the ocean, they got some of the stuff here for the map. So you can kind of see the different cities and towns and whatnot. So kind of cool. Just saying if you want to mess around with it, it's it's there. Now, all those NPCs have been moved to the location of Okia's Eye. And Okia's Eye, the storage keeper there, is going to have a new quest line for you to get this little cool uh, decoration for your house. So you'll definitely want to do this one this week. Take a trip out to Okia's Eye. For those of you that don't know where Okia's Eye is, it is located pretty much straight up from Velia. So if you take your boat and sail directly to the north, you'll see Okia's Eye. So yeah, you can head out here. It now has a storage in it. And all those NPCs that used to be at Port Rat are now here. So you can interact with them, get those items and whatnot. Now, because the ocean is changing and there's getting the new region, a bunch of the spawns have been moved and shifted as well. So uh, keep that in mind. And then beyond that, there actually really isn't anything too crazy with this patch. So yeah, a couple new events, as well as a couple little tweaks to the game, plus make sure you're taking advantage of all of those events that are still currently going on, um, season server, all those different things. Now let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Were you excited for this patch? Looking forward to the new region coming out? Uh, tell me your thoughts down there, and uh, yeah, anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching, I really appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you in the next YouTube video, the next Twitch live stream, or wherever I happen to see you. Dice.